Hey, it's Tyler here with Behind the Bottom, here with team number 16252, Ruto Robotics, and I got Brock here. We're gonna be talking about this robot, talking about Wobble Go pickup. Full intake, great aesthetics, and awesome shooter, all here on Behind the Bot. Giving you a voice. Making it loud our own way. Welcome, Welcome to the fun. We would like to thank our friends at Stryker for supporting fun so we can continue to make content for you. Stryker makes some of the most revolutionary medical equipment and is a big supporter of FIRST and its participants. If you are looking for an internship or a career that supports you being in FIRST, check out careers.stryker.com to learn more. You can also directly support FUN by joining FUN Nation. Click the Join button and just for a few bucks a month, you'll unlock special perks and directly support us so we can keep making great content. If you're on an FRC or FTC team and you're currently meeting safely in person and have a functional robot, we'd love to have you on our Behind the Bots or Behind the Bumper segments. Go ahead and reach out to us on any of our social channels, on Discord, or send us an email at admin at firstupdatesnow.com and let's get your team scheduled to be on First Updates Now. All right, so Brock, uh, let's go right through on this. Let's pick up uh, one of the rings that they have and I want to see it shoot back out and tell me about maybe uh, what's gone into some of the mechanisms here on this robot. All right, well, first, um, all right, so, um, first, so first you bring it in and then push in the hopper and then, well, it, it's just a flipper. Yeah, tell me about the intake here. So pretty much you're just driving up and just, just grabbing it, right? So yeah. what made you want to do that versus maybe more of, a, of, of an active intake that like we see on other robots? Well, uh, first of all, we had a intake that was just a straight line with a, well, I don't know how to put it. It was just like gears and it was just bringing it up. Sure. And that we ran into too many problems. So then we just decided to run with a flipper instead. Yeah, let's take a look. So as we go into now your indexer here, it looks like, do you have a mechanism that kind of like make sure they stay in? Oh uh, yeah, we have one flipper on the top okay. that can push it. And if it doesn't go in after that, we just kind of bring it forward and give it a little drift. Yeah, sure, hey, fair enough, right? Eventually falls in. No, I love it. And then uh, of course a nice side shooter as well too. Let's see this go in. That's a lot of velocity coming. Do you know how fast those are shooting out at all? Oh, uh, no, I did not. Yeah, no worries. So, uh, so love to see that on there. Uh, and then, of course, you got the wobble goal uh, as well, too. I love uh, the versatility of this. Let's see if pick up one and see what you can do with it. All right, go for this one. So uh, on this as well too, at the wobble go, it looks like it's, it works pretty well, quite successful mm -hmm. a bit. Uh, and you do have a little bit of range in order to, to pick that up as well. What made you want to pick this design that you have on the bot? Well, it just seemed like the most like effective and easiest way to go because in the beginning, it starts flipped up and it falls down after that. And so it just seemed like the best way to make it fit and most effective way. Yeah, and definitely uh, happens very quickly for you. Uh, on the spot as well too, uh, I think one of the cool things about Roto when we previewed you guys last year is some of your aesthetics on your robot, the looks of your bot, you got some nice lights going on, mm -hmm. uh, love what looks like, is that powder coating on your robot, yeah. I'm guessing? Is, is it something like, is that a priority for your team when you look at like, hey, not only do we want it to function well, but we need it to look good as well too? Yeah. All right, so maybe some pride that goes into that, right? Mm -hmm. Very cool. Uh, and, and then lastly, uh, on the spot as well. Tell me about some challenges you've had while building. You talked about how you modified your intake uh, from being different. Was there anything yeah. else in your robot you had to make modifications for for this year and ultimate goal? Um, well, we had to make sure our, after we began with the flipper, we had to make sure it worked with our intake because if we have our intake or our wobble claw down just a little bit, and you put the intake down, Oh sure. it'll just destroy the <laughs> claw. Well, Ro Ro Robotics, once again, uh, really loved this team last year building another high quality robot again this year, so can't wait to see uh, how this robot continues to evolve and continues to work. Thanks for taking the time. Yeah. We would like to thank our friends at Stryker for supporting this video. Stryker is looking for current and future FIRST alumni to join their internship program and FIRST mentors who are looking for a great career with a company who actually supports their FIRST journey. Go to careers.stryker.com to learn more. You can also directly support FUN by joining FUN Nation. Click the join button and just for a few bucks a month, you'll unlock special perks and directly support us so we can keep making great content. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and ring the bell to stay up to date on our new videos. 
keep the conversation going and provide your input to our content. Watch our live shows at twitch.tv forward slash first updates now. Join our Discord at discord.gg forward slash first updates now and check out Fun FTC on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter and First Updates Now on Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, and Twitter.